Hello everyone, here is distribution of sample proportion. So to find sample proportion, we have p hat equal to x divided by n. This x is number of individuals in sample. And here n is sample size. Okay, so uh, to find sample, we need this x and then divide that one by sample size. Now example number one, here on this part in this university have 145 registered voters and uh, they were asked whether they were they approved of uh, the way um, w. Bush is handling the economy. So 349 responded yes. So obtaining Find estimate for the proportion of uh, voters who approve of the way George Bush is handling the economy. And here we have estimate, or in other words, finding sample proportion. So, sample proportion is equal to x divided by n. And that is equal to, so x is, so these given, x is 349, and n 1745. So here we have 349 divided by 1745. And the answer is 0.2. Now, the next one here, um, We have a survey of um, 1,000 adult Americans. So here is 1,000. This is n. And so they were asked, "Are you currently on uh, some form of a low diet?" And 150 said they were on diet. So this is n x. So n is. 1000 x and so find sample proportion i think this is sample proportion here is point of estimate so we have sitting so point estimate for proportion for borders is exactly the same asking sample for we had as x Divided by n is 150, and here 1000. Okay, divide. The answer is 0. 0.15. That means 15 percent. Carb diet. Okay, next page. Um, here we have okay, this playing a uh, distribution of the sample proportion. The shape is 
when the sample increases, of sampling distribution of sample proportion becomes approximately normal. So when sample increases, uh, this will be approximately normal. Let's have an example here on top. For example, so let's see this one is uh, normal. If I have for this part sample size n equal to 10, then equal to 0.76. So this is popular proportion. And this is sample size. And then I want to increase sample size uh, n equal to 25, but we have same population proportion. See, what's the difference? Here these histograms are getting closer to this red line. So this red line is normal. Now for this part, and I'm increasing sample size. Now here, n equal to 60. And again, population proportion, same thing. Since here on this part, I increase it, I, I, I increase it, um, the sample size, this histogram is getting closer closer to this red line. So by increasing, this will be approximately normal. Okay, then, um, the mean of sampling distribution equals the population proportion P. Mean of sampling distribution that is equal to population proportion. Then the standard deviation of sampling uh, of the sample proportion decreases as the sample size increasing. Okay, so standard deviation of this sample proportion is equal to square root of P times Q divided by sample size. So if this part increase, what that means here, this one will decrease. And then on this part we have a solution of okay this is p hat for a simple random sample of size n so here we have a random sample and size is 10 uh, size is n with the population proportion is p we have all these sampling uh distribution of p hat is approximately normal so that is normal when we have this rule when we have n times p times 1 minus p or n times p times q greater than or equal to 10 because here 1 minus p is equal to q the next part uh, mean is a to population proportion exactly what we did here on top and then standard deviation of sampling distribution is um a core root of p times one minus p divided by n we have that one on top or so instead of my one minus p i had q so this is equal to square root p times q okay um what we have here, 
one requirement of that is sampled uh, values must be independent. Okay, independent of each other, that is one outcome cannot affect success or failure of any other outcome. So it's not affecting and when sampling uh, from that population. Uh, we verify the independence by checking that the sample size n is no more than 5%, so no more than 5% of population size. Uh, I'm writing that here, so we have what that means, meaning that the sample size should be less than or equal to 5% population size. Okay, so I'm just like have here on this part. So the first one was that sample uh here we have use these must be independent. Then the sample is from finite population. And okay, this part is based on part two. So if and less than five percent of the population size. What that means here, okay. Example number uh, our researcher uh, obtains random sample um, of size 50. I ask them whether or not they were the proposes the distribution of p hat proportion of adults who respond yes so this is approximately normal how many more adult americans that you do need to sample so how many more uh, americans uh, they need to uh, this approximately normal so part a 10 percent of all adult americans support the changes this 10 percent is p so this is p and q is 90 percent so Q is 1 minus P. So recall that tau n times P times Q greater than equal to 10. And the sample size less than or equal to 5% of population size. So obviously that's correct because we have in sample size is 50 and we have large population. So obviously that 50 is less than or equal to 5% of population. So n times p times q greater than or equal to 10. P and percent point nine ninety percent now finding N so N is greater than equal to one hundred eleven point eleven. Okay, what that means we need one hundred so mm, sixty four yes. 
the 62. We already had n equal to 50 sample size weight. And what we need is actually 112. So 112 minus 50. That means they need 62 more Americans. Okay, do the same part B. Now instead of 10% from part A, here we have 20%. So again, n times p times q. This should be greater than equal to 10. So n times p is 20%, and q is 80%. Solve for n, divide by 0.16, both sides, and is greater than or equal to 65. Like that, we need 63 American, so thirteen more. We got that thirteen exactly same as part A. Sixty-three minus fifty. This was given is equal to thirteen. Example number four. In June of two thousand eight, um. 2% of reducer workers believe that gay and lesbian couples should be allowed to marry. And we suppose that uh, we had a simple random sample of 50 voters and determine which voters believe that gay and lesbian couples should be allowed to marry. Describe this sampling distribution. So we need to describe sampling uh, distribution of, uh, for registered voters. Okay, so describing that, what that means from previous page, following all those three steps. So first I'm writing what was given on this part, uh, S50, here, sample of 50, and P is 42%, so P is success, is 42%, and Q is 1 minus P, So it's 0.50. Okay, so first we should have 10 times P times Q greater than or equal to 10. And also the sample size less than or equal to 5% of population. Okay, so first that one. So we have n times p times q. This should be greater than or equal to 10. Uh, for n, we have 50. Mm, p, 42%. Q is 58%. So is this one greater or equal to 10? Okay, multiply all these, we have 12.18, okay, which is greater than or equal to 10. So, yes, if this part is correct, okay, then I want to find mean. So, find mean, mean is equal to power proportion. And that is equal to 42%. Okay. 
Okay, and the sample, uh, the standard deviation. Okay, so it's done. Of the sample proportion. Is equal to square root of P times Q divided by. So that is equal to. P is 42%. And Q is 50%, and N is 50. Okay, so finding the answer without running it, the answer is 0 0.0698. Okay, so I post this and I have this. So what that means, we describe the sampling distribution. And this part, computer's probabilities of sample proportion. So that is uh, sample proportion then here is mean mean of sampling distribution And here on this part, calculation. The standard deviation of sampling distribution. And this is population proportion. Okay, example. Simple random sample of size and uh, hundred is obtained from a population of um, uh, here population size is twenty five thousand and population proportion is 0.65. Now part A describe the sampling distribution. The sample proportion. So here again, we need to follow all those three steps. The first one. Do we have normal distribution? It's normal. Or can I answer that that we should have the first part was n times p times q. This should be greater than or equal to. So here, n is two hundred. P is minus sixty five. And Q is one minus P, so one minus P, one minus point sixty. That is point five. So here is point thirty five. This is equal to forty five point five, which is greater than equal to ten. So this is correct, and the answer part is yes, this is normal. Then second part, finding mean. So mean 
already given that is equal to population proportion and is 0 0.65. Then third one, standard deviation of sample proportion. Okay, so that is equal to NS200 P65% uh, and here is 35%. Running it, the answer is 0 0.034. Uh, uh, part B, what is probably of obtaining A is equal to 136 or more. So more individuals with um, characteristic and that is, so we should find this part. Probably the often sample proportion is equal to 0. 0.60. So I should find them. So here we have sample proportion exactly uh, when we had eggs. So that was sample. Uh, first step was score. Do the same thing on this part. So we score first. So Z is equal to, from previous page we had that, on top we should subtract, so sample proportion, yes. population proportion or mean divided by standard deviation. So is equal to uh, point here we have 0 0.68 for sample proportion minus population proportion from this part as a 5 divided by hmm, here I have exciting so divided by standard deviation so using this part here and it's 200 here we have 0.65, this is 0.35, and this is equal to approximately to 0.89. Okay, now finally, probably here. So P hand greater than 2.68. Instead, use Z score. So Z greater than equal to 0.9. Okay, so this is uh, so to find the area to the right, we need to subtract so one minus area to the left. We had this part in various previous sections. This is equal to 1 minus using tab. When z is equal to 0.89, area in the body of table 0.813. So subtract. The answer is 0.1867. So Z was 0.89 and 
the area for this part, right tail, is equal to 0 0.18. Sixty-seven. Now, part C. What is the probability of meaning? Uh, here is X says one hundred eighteen. I forgot to explain that, so uh, how we use this. So 130, okay, I'm writing that here. This was already given, that's why we didn't need that part. So this point 68 is 136 divided by our sample size 200. Is that one? Now, again, same thing, we have one divided by 200. What that means we should find the probability when sample uh, proportion is less than or equal to 0.59. So again, convert to z score. So z is equal to that minus p divided by standard deviation. p hat is 0.59 minus mm, is 0.65. And here on this part we had 0 0.65, 35 divided by 200. So this negative 1.78. You now finding area so probability when sample proportion less than 0 0.59 this is equal to probability when z is less than equal to negative 1.78 so now instead use z score then you stable the uh, area when z is equal to negative 1.78 in the body of table, we have this number, we have 0.375. And previous sections, I already told you how to use this table, showing how to use it. So we already have. You know, I'm drawing it. Okay, so as I said, the move to me, we have this part as zero. On right side, we have positive, and on left side, we have negative. So z is here. Z is negative 1.78. And we should find area when area is, when z is less than, so less than this number. Area for this part is 0 0.0375. So this is the answer. Okay, uh, now I want to explain what that is. So I'll go for hmm.
Okay, so this was the area uh, on left side. Now, number six. Let's probably have, okay, 29% of adults do not own credit card. Part A, suppose you random sample of 500. Let's ask, do you own a credit card? Describe the, again, you need to describe sampling distribution of the so that, that is P hat sampling sample distribution. And the proportion of adult only credit card. Again, all those three steps. So the first part is that, do we have distribution? So is this normal? We can answer that, uh, that do we have n times p times q greater than or equal to 10? We have that one. Okay, so n times um, n, we have 500. So 500 times p is 29%. So using that p, q is n minus p, so it's 0.71. So here is 10.229, and this is greater than or equal to 10. With that, this one is normal. Okay, the, um, I should find mean and standard deviation. So mean. This is already given is equal to population proportion as 29 and standard deviation. With square root of PQ divided by N. Five hundred PS point twenty nine and Q is okay, that is point zero twenty. Now part B, what is it that in random sample uh, 500 adults, more than 30% do not own the credit card. So probably when this sample proportion is more than 30%, so you then point. more than 30% convert to z-score first so z is equal to p hat minus p is 29% divided by standard deviation. So divided by 500 and on top we have point zero 0.01 denominator 
0.0203. So that is equal to 0.49. So using this D score here on top, finding the probability band Z is. So we have greater than, so I have greater than 0.49. This is right tail. So to find the area to the right, you need to subtract one minus the area to the left. So uh, using table when z is equal to 0.49, area is the body of table is 0.8. 79. So subtract, the answer is So this was the uh, point forty nine, and the answer that we got was for our area to the right. But that means, okay, they didn't ask us to interpret, but uh, we'll write that. So this means about. Here we have 31%, it's approximately equal to 31%, so about 31 of the 100 sample. Sample of size 500. The result in more than 3% no credit card. Now, Parsi, what is it that in 500 between 25 and 30% do not only Credit card. Now, on this part, we have between, I don't have right or left. So, finally, probability when the sample proportion p hat is between 25 percent. Again, convert to z score. First, finding this part in phi, or p hat minus p is 0.29. So, this is from previous part, 0.29 was given divided by standard deviation from previous part here. This one is 0 0.023. So, that is equal to negative 1.97. Now for right side z is equal to here is uh, p hat is thirty percent minus p by standard deviation that is point forty nine so here find probability when z is 
between negative 97 and on this side 0.49. Okay, so again, use table. Z is equal to negative 1.97. And also when Z is point equal to 0.49, So for when 0.49, I have 0.6879, then minus the probability for this part. So when z is negative 1.97, it's a point zero two hundred forty-four. Okay, subtracting the answer is 0.6635. Okay, so here Z is negative one, then, and here's the 0.49. And that answer will was for the in between, between these two scores. Part D, would it be unusual for a random sample of 500 adults to result in 125 or fewer? Do not own credit card. Okay, for this. So I have uh, 125 or fewer. I, I don't know what sample proportion. So first, I need to find out for remember I told you so this was given where is that this was given x 118 and also sample proportion that's why I didn't uh I didn't work on finding p hat because this p hat was already given but in this part I don't have p hat so finding p hat using this x so p hat is Divide by n, and one twenty-five, five hundred. So this is n. This is x. Okay, the answer is point. Probability when p hat. So this is fewer than. We have less than. Then to z score. Okay. So z is p hat is twenty five percent is p is point twenty nine divided by from this part the standard deviation was point. 0, 203. So it's negative 1.97. So less than negative 1.97. Use table, this is the area to the left. And the answer is point zero two hundred forty four. So it's asking if this is unusual. Same. This zero two hundred forty four is less than this five percent. Therefore, this is unusual. Okay, so this part is unusual. We finished this section. Hope you enjoyed this one.
拜拜。